Welcome back everyone. Uh, thanks for watching. We're doing a problem from the textbook University Physics by Young and Friedman. Um, we're trying to solve the part B. Part A was in the uh, same lecture name, just named part A. This is part B. So I urge you to watch part A before watching this part. Um, so what we have to find in this part is the potential due to this rod, the blue colored rod at point R, which is a distance of Y units vertically upwards from the rod, okay, from the end of the rod. So the setup of the question is pretty uh, uh, similar to what we did before. Same thing, the slice of the rod we consider, and which is at a distance of X prime from the reference axis. The remainder of the rod is A minus X prime, because the total length of the rod is A units. And um, that's about it for the setup. So let's now look at our generic formula for, whoops, didn't choose a color. Generic formula for potential, right? dV equals 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught dQ over R, right? Now, let's apply that to this point. We did this in one part A, so it's going to be pretty uh, same here. Okay. Here, dQ, again, from part A is Q times dx prime over A. Okay? We substitute that here, and for R, what do we get? If, if the point R is here, the distance of point R from our slice of the rod is essentially given by the hypotenuse that's formed by this distance, the distance Y, and the remainder of the distance A minus X prime, right? Take some time to understand this before we proceed. So, again, the distance from the slice to the point R is given by the hypotenuse of the right triangle, which can be given as... Uh, please excuse me, I have a cold today, so I might sound a little uh, coldy. <laughs> okay, so the distance, call it, let's call it D for now, can be given by root of y squared plus a minus x the whole squared. Okay, perfect. Let's just substitute that for r here and this for q here, dq here. So we get dv at r equals 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught times q over a times dx prime over y squared plus a squared, uh, sorry, I'm sorry, a minus x the whole squared. I mean, x prime this is, please. Okay. I'm not able to choose the right colors today. I don't know what the reason is. <laughs> okay, let's see if this works. Um, all right. So what do we have to do now to get the total potential? Just integrate, that's all it is. So this goes to VR and this goes from, as again, as from the part A, 0 to A, the length of the rod. Okay, now here, there are constants again, luckily. 4 pi epsilon naught, I'm putting A with the epsilon naught here, times Q integral of 0 to a dx prime over y squared plus a minus x prime the whole squared now for our convenience I'm gonna put I'm gonna substitute something here for a minus x prime so let's say u equals a minus x prime alright then therefore du is minus dx prime that means dx prime equals minus du right Okay, and I'm assuming, again, that uh, we're familiar with the few integration techniques, okay? Now, let's not forget to change the, I mean, check for the limits of the integration, all right, when we're doing this. So, as x goes from 0 to a, u goes from, let's see, let's put 0 for x here, right? So u equals a minus 0, which is a. When x is 0, u is a. And then it goes to when x becomes a, here, when x becomes a, a minus a, u becomes 0. 
so it is a to 0. So as x goes from 0 to a, u goes from a to 0. All right. So let's change those values and rewrite our integration. So v r equals 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught a times q integral of d oops du hold on du over y squared plus u squared and now the integration is going to go from instead of 0 to a it's going to go from a to 0 all right and now we use a very excellent integral table uh, available online called the integral table.com from the integral table.com our integral looks a lot like this right dx over x squared plus a squared right and the answer to that is natural log of x plus x squared plus a squared all right so let's substitute that in our equation and see what we get here y squared is a squared mind you because we're integrating with respect to du and not dy so here we get q over 4 pi epsilon naught a times natural log of u plus let's go back to that I forgot what it is u plus root of u squared plus y squared use u squared plus y squared okay again as these integrals go from a to zero all right so what we get when you substitute zero you just get uh let me write this down q over four pi so not a natural law natural log 0 plus 0 plus y squared is y squared root of y squared is y okay that minus natural log of uh oh uh, I forgot to put a minus sign here see it's minus du so it has to be minus du and put the minus outside here I'm sorry about that uh, I hope you didn't get confused I got confused though <laughs> okay so there's a minus sign here let's not forget that and here what do you get we get a plus root of y squared plus a squared okay that's the limits there so when you put this minus inside we can make this positive and this negative okay that's let's do that in the next step q over 4 pi epsilon naught a and you're gonna get natural log of a plus y squared plus a squared minus natural log of y okay yes and what happened here sorry so let's let's get back to our equation so natural log of something minus natural log of another thing is pretty simple right it's just that over that so like we did in part a q over 4 pi epsilon naught a times natural log of a plus square root of y squared plus a squared over y this is the answer for potential at point R thanks for watching see you later